Hello, it's Anna Gucci here. Welcome to another Godzilla month. And we are here for the very first video and a long awaited video. We are here for the long awaited Kenshin. Oh, wait. No, 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 not Kenshin Cats. That's a different video. <coughs> this, we are here for the Atnocast, the first edition of Atnocast. And I'm not alone. I got one member from Kenshin Studios, from Kenshin Cast or Kenshin Studios. I got Chris. Hey, G fans. <laughs> yep, and we also got Godzilla Vita. God damn it, Carnage! Piss off! <laughs> oh, God. Sorry about that. You know how kids are, but hello, it's me again. For the, I don't know how many times you asked me for a collaboration, despite the Kenshin Chaos breakdown that we had in that video! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. You really don't like me. You really don't like doing collabs with me. <laughs> Dude, have you seen how many collabs I've done with you? <laughs> hey, you're easy to get. I'm sorry. I gotta use... Easy to get. Although you know what, I will say it is an it is an honor to do a collab with the legendary Chris Keepers. It is, yo. Even though I'm pretty sure we already kind of did that with the School Island review, but that's off topic. Well, yeah. that was more of a community fun video, not you know. It was, it was, yeah. yeah. Even though I was only there for like the last two episodes, mostly because I was busy with work and G Fest. Right. Time. So, yeah. I was going to be there for like episode five and six, but I was busy with G Fest. <clears throat> okay. But anyway, this will be more of a general discussion, not of uh, any points or anything like that from the Kenshin cast. It will just be more of a general discussion about what we think about both movies and which we think is worse. But we are going to do like one thing. We're all going to pick which movie we think is better. And do I know which one I pick? <laughs> of course. Godzilla Reigns again is better. Godzilla Reigns again 100%. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have to agree here. No. What about. Oh, you had you going for Godzilla's revenge? Really? Yeah. Wait, oh, wait, I know. I thought you said, I thought you said Godzilla's Reigns again. No. Wait, I, I'm I'm confused. I'm not even listening. God damn it! No, oh, right again. I I've never liked. Over time, I've learned to appreciate revenge. It's revenge is still a horrible movie too. But if you had if you had a gun pointed to my head, and I had to choose, I'd I would much rather watch revenge. It's way more entertaining. No, it's not. I'm no, it's not. I, I don't it's know. I mean, it's frustrating. I, it's frustrating how it tries to be entertaining. With I mean, I don't know. I mean, for me, in terms of like horrible Godzilla movies, <laughs> the Ray Ray. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, there we go. There it is. Yep. Current that's like five minutes, not even ten minutes into the stream, and you're you talking trash about the way. Uh, <laughs> Because why not? Huh? Yeah. Anyway, so we're gonna start with Goji Fan and his general thoughts on both movies, and then we go to Godzilla. Rita. <clears throat> well, so with raids again, um, 
I mean, I've just never been a fan of that film. I just, it's, it's so boring. Nothing happens. It's like super rushed, put together. It takes everything that the first film did and just completely deflates it 100%. Um, I mean, it's like, it is the definition of a rushed sequel trying to make a cash grab. Um, I, I don't even remember any of the characters. I don't even really remember the plot. The only thing I remember is the, the criminals that are in the truck that get blown up or whatever, I think. Um, the Godzilla suit is horrible. It's like one of the worst looking Godzilla suits ever. Um, uh, yeah, are you sure about that? Are you yes, sure about very, that? Very much so, yes. Uh, did you forget about the 1997 uh, suit? Did you forget about that suit? The what suit? <laughs> the Son of Godzilla suit. That suit's way better than Raids again. What are you talking about? No, what? No, <laughs> what? Hey. no, 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 it's not. Son of God. Actually, no. Wars <laughs> Designs, Godzilla Earth. Godzilla, Godzilla Earth is a stupid tree. You guys have to remember, we're talking bottom of the barrel when it comes to any of this stuff right now. So, like, really, when it comes down to picking, it's just like, what is the worst of the worst? I mean, Son of Godzilla suit's also horrible. So, like, but again, if I had to pick... I don't. I, I the raids again suit is it's horrible. It's the worst suit. It's not. It's not good. At least Son of Godzilla suit is just funny to look at, but raids again is just like no. Nah, get it off my screen. I don't like it. <laughs> oh God. Oh, honestly, 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 I would advise you to watch the analog or submission trials, so that I don't know. Maybe you would get more appreciation for that design. No, I'll just have more nightmares, so I don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But no, um, and uh, I mean, yeah, you could say that it's it's a important film because it was the first movie with Anguirus and that it had Godzilla fight a monster for the first time, but it's bad. I mean, they didn't slow down the footage. It just looks like, it literally looks like two guys in rubber suits just running around, like just trying to, they're not even really fighting. They're just like hugging each other the whole time. And then one flops over the other way and the other, it's just the whole thing just reeks of rushed, and low budget and just forgettable, all that. Godzilla's Revenge, on the other hand, yes, it is still horrible too, but my God, it has so many funny moments. And I mean, and again, I say funny as in maybe not for the right reasons, but it's still funny. It's way more memorable than Raids again. Everyone talks more about Revenge than they do Raids. Um, Minya is hilarious in the English dub. We have so many memes thanks to that voice actor. Um, you know, <laughs> uh, cool what? Fight my own Good. battles, all that stuff. We wouldn't have that, you know, if it wasn't for revenge. Um, Gabra is a nightmare. Talk about nightmare fuel, but you know, he's still way more memorable of his entrance. See, Angerus isn't memorable for his entrance in raids again. Angerus is is memorable in Destroy Monsters, like, or in the 60s and in the 70s. That's where he's really popular from, not Raids Again. If he was only in Raids Again, he would have been that, people would have been like, oh yeah, that weird spiky dude that was in that one 50s black and white film, uh, whatever. But no, the reason that Angerus is popular is because of the other ones. But Gabra yeah, has been the chest of time <laughs> due to the fact that Revenge is just so nuts with its storytelling. And then the kid, yeah, he's probably one of the most annoying kids too, but not the most. I would say that goes to either the Hedora kid or the Megalon kid. Um, or any of the Kennys from the... Or the Gam Kennys from Gamera, for sure. And uh, I think the music is super memorable. I actually love the soundtrack of Revenge, except for the first part where the kid's singing in it. That's kind of ear grating. I'll admit that's really bad. But without the vocals, it's really good. And yeah, but it's, it's, the first still time, it's the first time we get to see the the classic 60, well, not really a 60s suit, but like when they introduce the, um, no, that was Strong Monsters, that's right, the 67 suit. But, um, you know, we still get to see that nice suit, so at least Godzilla had a good design with that. And yeah, it is a film that is a bunch of stock footage, which is, you know, that's one of its, its um, you know, negative for sure, too. <laughs> but... I think the story that they were trying to tell was at least a little more heartfelt than what Raids Again was, whatever they were trying to do. 
because revenge. Oh, if, you really, if you really look deeper into it, there is some sort of plot that if they would have taken more care, it would have been executed a lot better. I highly recommend people to watch that Kaiju Legends video on revenge. It makes you have a way more appreciation on what the movie could have been. I'll probably leave a link in the description to do. down below to it if you want to watch it. Yeah, it's really of good, course. and it makes revenge look a lot better than than it, than you know, if, if not watching that little editorial video that they did. Um, because yeah, it's like showing the hard times of being a kid in that time and then bullying and there's a message and all that. And it has, I mean, it has a, it has a message for young kids for sure. Raids again, I, I don't know what message they were trying to say. So yeah, <laughs> for, for me, funny, revenge is funny similar. enough. I'm going to point to Godzilla Vita and I'm going to ask them to deliver the message. That they were trying yeah. Oh yeah. But we just, um, we just, let's just, let's, let's, let's just let Chris finish. <laughs> okay. So I'm ready later. Oh, I'm pretty much done. I'm good. All right. Godzilla, okay. deliver the message on Godzilla Reigns again. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, first of all, I kind of want to start with the bad stuff. So Godzilla's revenge, <laughs> honestly, I don't care how many years it has been. I mean, to be fair, I kind of moved on from it since... Yeah, I kind of don't care about that movie or even Raids again, but even then, Revenge is still, for me, like... Yeah, it's still, like, one of the worst. Like, so it many... Is. There's yeah. so many... What? Yeah, it is. You're right. Okay. But maybe I'm just going to get to you. Right. Yeah, Revenge is still not a good movie, in my opinion. Just... There's a lot of, I mean, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure if I even try to like, even say some stuff, it's basically the all the stuff that you probably already heard. Stock footage, annoying kid, uh, what's next? What's What other stuff that people have already said about Revenge at this point? Gabra. Born. Gabra. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, Gabra. yeah, I, actually, I actually want to say this. I, now, it's interesting what you said, Chris, about Gabra being, being way more memorable than Angiris, which... I can see it, but the problem is that just because you're memorable doesn't mean that you're the better character. And I'm sorry, but Gabra, as a character, or even a kaiju, he's kind of stupid, in my opinion. Oh, I didn't like, say he was a good monster. I just said he was memorable. Uh, How is yeah, he memorable? But he hasn't appeared memorable in can go both ways. It can be good or bad. He has but, oh, okay. I'd rather be memorable movie. than forgotten. Or than he just unremarkable. I think you're forgetting the fact that he hasn't appeared in any movie or show from Toho since Gap since Gazo's Revenge. So, but that's all. Yeah, but even yeah, but even then, he's a character that I really don't want to see. His design is just shit. He has a terrible role, and his all his old role in the movie is just pretty pathetic. Especially when you consider that Godzilla doesn't even, but Godzilla just beats him without even without even a sweat. Let's yeah. see. Manila, Manila also sucks. Manila also sucks. There's, Manila always sucks. There's no, there was no, nothing good and redeeming about this guy. Yeah, nothing. Uh, what next? Uh, I'm trying to think of some point. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, now the old, me yeah, the message thing. Now, I can understand what this movie was trying to, yeah, bullying and all of that, the bu stop bullying and all of that, but I will say that Later on, the, on the end, the movie quite literally forgets its message. Why? Well, I'm going to explain it. So basically, what's the kid's name again? I Toshi. Not, not Toshi. I'm thinking Gamma Kid. Ichio. Oh, Ichi. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Ichi. I'm gonna go. Yeah. So basically, Ichi, after he just beats, he manages to win against his bully. Uh, what he proceeds to do later on is. Yeah, that literally goes everything against the message that the movie tries to tell. So basically, he... Now, in the beginning of the movie, the bullies were stole or something, whatever it is, and basically, they would have given him back, given that thing back if he did what they told him to do, which is basically onk a motorcycle of some random guy painting a, a sign. And in the beginning of the movie, he, he didn't do it. But I'm later on... Saying the movie would have been done right away if he would have just done what they told him to. There would be no Godzilla's Avenge. The movie would be done all with. Movie, <laughs> no credits. The movie hold would be on, done and over. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. So yeah, in the end, after he beats up his bully, he then proceeds to do what he didn't want to do in the beginning. Honk the motorcycle, which could literally gets the attention of that guy, who then falls on the ground, 
and paint falls over his face. Now, I'm pretty sure with that fall, he could have get himself seriously injured. And let's not forget that pain, that pain literally fell on his face. Honestly, if he would have swallowed it, he could have died. And literally, after he did that, the bull, literally the bullies like him. So basically, the message of this movie is not, oh, stand up against your bullies, is the, the message of this, the message of this movie is do horrible stuff and people will like you. Great message. Wow. Just, you did the words right out of my mouth. That was legit what I was about to say, too. <laughs> It's literally, you, literally, it's, that's literally, it's not like, it's, I'm not, I'm not making this up, it's literally in the movie. It's like, the movie literally, the movie, like, everything we went at this point, literally, everything that we've, we've gone through, just for the message, in the end, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, yeah. Godzilla Reader is very passionate about this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. You legit took all my words, so I'm just gonna have to make up some stuff on the spot. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think I've already said. Oh, yeah, I've already said my piece for this movie. All right, so raids again. Okay, now funny enough, uh, like I kind of forgot some of the stuff that I wanted to say because when we originally had the Kenshin cast going around for that, but eventually we cancel it, and all the points that I had, I kind of forgot. But so I had to literally go out there and try to find them again. So I think I have them now. But okay, now. In terms of raids again, I can see why it's perhaps not the best thing to come out. However, if we take a, a deeper look at it... Now, okay, let's take a deeper look at this movie. Now, of course, the 1954 movie was basically about uh, literally the horrors of... New literally a reminder of the horrors of the Second War and uh, the nuclear bomb. Well, after... let's... Well, if we take a look at raids again in an historical manner we can see things that perhaps we never thought of. Because if we take a look, if we take a, if we, let's say, let's go, uh, let's go all history mode. So basically after, yeah, basically after the nuclear bomb on Hiroshima, yeah, basically things didn't quite uh, go well, especially with the Cold War. And yeah, I think, yeah, oh God. There were communists and the com capitalist, communist, and capitalism. Yeah, and then mostly centered around Russia and America, I think. Yeah, and they were back in the middle. Of the yeah, and Japan was practically spot. yeah yeah basically Japan was practically right in the middle of it. Yeah, they were in the for many years, like all the way from the end of World War Two, from the forties all the way to around the eighties. They were in the they were in the Cold War for like many years. Yeah. 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 So basically, even even with all the worst, all that horrible incident about the, with the nuclear bomb, the world still did not go in peace. And by if you look at the movie, you see a similar situation where Japan is literally in the middle of a battleground where Godzilla and Angiris are practically battling for dominance, kind of like how America and Russia did a long time ago and if you think uh, saying that if you think that Angiris and Godzilla are not representing America and Russia well let's see Godzilla technically is you can kind of consider him uh, be America since his whole existence quite literally came from their bombs literally now Angiris yeah okay admittedly Angiris is a bit difficult to decide that since it's since in that movie, it's quite unknown whether what he is. Although, ironically enough, I think years later, there was a novel that, uh, an official Godzilla novel that says, that quite literally describes Angiris as a sea monster from Russia. So, I guess it's a coincidence, but whatever. But basically, yeah, the way the way you can see raids again is basically the conf the Cold War. Basically, after after that, the events of uh, of the Second World War. Now, another thing that I guess we could also point out is, yeah, the movie, I will say, the Raids Again is a bit more lighthearted compared to the 1954 movie. Although, then again, if I'm being honest, Re Revenge is a bit more lighthearted and a bit more cringy lighthearted, if I'm being honest. What about the point about them living? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I'm going to say, yeah. 
However, so yeah, the fact that the second movie is a bit lighter head than the first one may seem a bit weird. However, I think the real message that this movie is, I mean, maybe, maybe it wasn't intentional, but what this movie is trying to say is basically what it's trying to show is Japan moving on from the horrors of 1954. Basically moving on from everything. Since, okay. You, you being sad and angry about events, horrible events that happen. Yeah, it's a it's a hard thing. But is it really the best way to live? Honestly, no. The best way to move to live life is move on further. Because in the end, even with all of, even, even with all of the stuff happening, Japan still exists. And if there's life, there's still a better hope for a better tomorrow. So I think so. Yeah, I think that's what this movie is trying to say. And yeah, I think I've said all all my piece. Yeah. <laughs> what are your thoughts on that, Chris? Huh? Uh, you could polish a turd, but it's still a turd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. Wow. <laughs> honestly, okay. Well, honestly, I would rec- okay if Chris. Okay, so yeah, Chris uh, literally recommended that Kaju Le- that Kaju Legends for the Godzilla Revenge video. I'm gonna say. I recommend watching the the video by Omni Viewer that he did on Raids Again. Since basically all I said, all of the points that I said are actually were based on his. He, his video on the Raids Again video was pretty good. So yeah, I recommend watching that to get a better understanding of Raids Again. Mm. I mean, I it, yeah, I mean it, it's a polished turd. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if. If Godzilla Reigns Events is turd, I'm pretty sure Godzilla Revenge is just a throw up from yeah, the, yeah. Up the movie. <laughs> it's a, yeah, like yeah. Again, again, you could polish vomit, put it in a nice vase, make it look all pretty and whatever. It's still vomit. So, oh, I mean, God. I mean, yeah. both movies are still shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you prefer one over the other. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, you know my stance on why I prefer revenge, at least. Well, yeah. I'm would just... you rather would you rather eat shit or eat vomit? Eat vomit. <laughs> That's disgusting. I wouldn't eat either of those. Huh? Oh, see, I wouldn't eat either. I, you know, so that's yeah. Or better, I would. I would not eat vomit. That's why I wouldn't even have this discussion. <laughs> or <laughs> better, yes, I, I wouldn't be great. Or can't wait. let it go for some reason. Yeah, I yeah, I know. For, no, it's happened now. Now, can you freaking stop it right now? Can you stop asking me for every collab that you want to do? No, I also ask you for more collabs. That said, it won't go away. <laughs> yeah, but oh god, it's, it's even it's, you're even worse than in, you're even worse than just being in the now about, let's say, oh yeah, Conga being being super senior in that episode, even though it was not the case. Boom. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. All right. Well, just point, let me just get to my points. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do, do your points. <laughs> because those avenge piece of shit deserves to die. I don't understand why people love this movie. Are starting to like this movie now? Why are people loving this movie? I don't understand why. It's just a piece of garbage. There is no. I find no enjoyment out of this movie. The only time that I watch this movie is when I have a bad day at work, like the worst day possible at work, and I just want something to rage at. I just want something to rage at. That's the only way you can get me to watch this movie. And even that's unhealthy for you. <laughs> for me. I. That's the only way you're going to get me to watch this movie. That's the only way if I have a bad, a very, very shitty day and I watch this movie. That's the only way. Godzilla Vance again, I'd rather watch because it's more enjoyable. I actually find more enjoyment in Godzilla Vance again. That film is a lot more enjoyable. And I do think the characters are more interesting. And I think even the ending, it has a better ending than Godzilla's Revenge. Like, if you think about it, Godzilla's Revenge could have been done in like the first, like, what, 10 minutes? the movie <laughs> it could have been guess. like think about it and i understand the bully message but these bullies barely act, interact with these kids they legit only react i've counted they only react interact with him briefly 
four times in the movie, and the fourth time is the climax of this freaking movie. They barely interact with him. Oh, right, yeah, I should have pointed out that they kind of shun away the bully thing, which, yeah, no, bullying is not something you should shy away. It's a serious subject. And this is Toho. What is Toho doing? You're good at sewing messages. Why are you doing this? Like, come on. You, I feel like this could have been something that could have been something, but no. They decided to go the opposite route and just have, oh, cause trouble and become a bully. <laughs> become one with the bullies. Yeah. But, yeah, uh. with that. It's a revenge. I have no enjoyment out of. It's just, it's just so frustrating how bad this movie is. I just find no enjoyment out of that movie. It's the worst piece of scum. It deserves to be put in the fiery pits of hell, burn down deep, deep in the fiery pits of hell. Agreed. There are no, not. I'm not going to say the facts that there's soft footage, but even that's... I can understand why there was soft footage, because lack of money for Toho. But, hey, Toho, you still have some of the suits for some of these kaijus. Like, a lot of these monsters that are in this movie, they have the suits for. And most of them are puppets. They have the suits for Kumanga. Not the suits, I mean the puppets for Kumanga and Kama... And Kama Kamakris. Kamakris. <laughs> Thank you. For Kamakris. And they have the suit for Eber. Why not just recreate these fights with the 1968 suit? Why can't you just do that? That would have made a better movie than... Yeah, we would have been seeing the same thing, but just in a different suit. Just in a different Godzilla suit. So why not just do that instead of just giving us stock footage? Stock footage of movies that we already seen. Do they really think that, hey, kids, uh, I don't think you've seen this movie. Uh, this is just new footage. Yeah, it's just new footage. No, we've seen it. I'm pretty sure every kid, I'm pretty sure the kids back then who first saw this movie, kids now have seen all these movies up to Godzilla's Revenge. So there's no need for stock footage. But besides the stock footage, even the new footage that they show is stupid. Out of all scenes they could have chose, they show Godzilla teaching him how to breathe fire. Oh my bad, atomic blast. But they do that. They decide to do new footage of that. And the climax, which is the lamest climax ever, there's nothing entertaining about Manila fighting Gabba. Nothing entertaining about that. It's Other than Manila getting his ass kicked, which is pretty enjoyable. Okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> but... And I could see Manila get death in the face many, many, many times. I put that on the replay a lot. I think I scratched the DVD I have. <laughs> I think I've ruined the DVD every time I put that on the replay. <laughs> right, continue. <laughs> but that climax is so bad. It's so regrettably bad. Like It's so silly, and you can tell of how far they come. They go from the great heavens of the movies from Godzilla, like Mothra versus Godzilla, or Godzilla 1954, or King Kong versus Godzilla, or Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster. And they go to this. Like, just think about it. Even Godzilla reigns again. Oh, and here's another fact. Watch. You might change your mind once you watch these movies back to back. You might notice a little difference in quality between these movies. Watch these movies back to back, and you will find out that Godzilla Reigns Again is a way better film. It's yeah, it was a rush project. I'll give it I'll give Godzilla's Revenge. At least that took a year, but this movie took like what five months? But at least that movie feels more polished than this piece of Blow up. Just something I don't want to touch. It's the worst movie. I will never. It's the worst movie ever made. It's basically my equivalent to the worst movie ever made. It is. <coughs> yeah, just put that on the meme. Just put that on the list of memes I created. <laughs> yeah. But. Well. 
it's I just can't stand Godzilla's Revenge. Every every time I hear we get into arguments about I get into arguments with my mom every time we talk about this movie. It's like she likes Godzilla's Revenge. She likes it more than Godzilla nineteen. She let's put it like this. She, has she likes Godzilla's Revenge more than Shin Godzilla. Let's put it like Oh that. well well honestly I would uh <laughs> god damn it. Well to be fair, I would have chosen no, I would have chosen revenge for Ching Godzilla. Really? Gross. <laughs> Thank God. Ugh, but Ugh. But that's on topic. But <laughs> I I can't stand Godzilla's Avenger. And if this movie ever plays out <laughs> at G Fest, the first thing I'm gonna do is like, nope, I'm not watching this. <laughs> nope. I will frustrate like hell. I'm pretty sure many people will be following with me. <laughs> but yeah. it'll be G Fest last year where I walked out of the 1998 Godzilla movie. I swear, if they play this movie at G Fest, I am walking out. I am not saying I am not coming back for the climax. I am not coming back whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, no, just no. I hate this. I just hate this movie. And what's surprising enough, even with an audience for Godzilla. And the audience for Godzilla Reigns again, yeah, not much of an audience for G-Fest. <laughs> They're pretty much quiet. <laughs> so probably asleep. So, yeah, pretty boring. But, yeah. yeah. But I bet, but it's a good average film. I think Godzilla's Revenge is an average film, in my opinion. It's a mid- it's a good average film. I better watch that a thousand times better. And I think it has a way better editing. Yeah, it's just because of us waving his arms around. But at least it feels climatic and you are enjoying it of what's happening on screen than what's happening with Manoa. Gabba. And yeah, I better watch that a thousand times more than Godzilla doing nothing throughout the climax of Manoa versus Gabba. And only interacting like twice, legit twice throughout the climax, and it's not even the climax. It's only the second to last. Wait, not second to last. Third to last climax. We got three climax for the movie. We got Gabba versus Mamo and Godzilla. We got the climax for the robbers to. Oh, right. I, I forgot to mention the robbers. Oh, yeah, they're pretty pointless characters for the movie, if I'm being honest. Yeah, pretty lame. <laughs> like, they, they were, they had no reason to be in the movie to begin with. Yeah. And, and then we got our third climax, our final climax, the bullies, which ruins the entire message of the movie. That they were trying to display. Make this why. I don't like, but Godzilla Reigns again, I'd rather watch because at least I find enjoyment out of that film. Yeah, there are a lot of things I don't remember because it is a bit of a snooze fest. But I'd rather watch that than be frustrated the entire time watching Godzilla's Revenge. At least, I, at least Godzilla Reigns again is good background noise compared to the frustration of Godzilla's Revenge. I rather listen to background noise than Godzilla's Revenge being frustrated the entire time, even being frustrated the entire time watching that movie. I rather be listening to background noise than being frustrated the entire time for Godzilla's Revenge. I, I kid you not. There is nothing I like about this movie. There, and this is such a wasted opportunity. You have, this is not only. 15th anniversary movie and the 10th movie in a row, the 10th Godzilla movie, they just wasted this perfect opportunity of showing a booty message. Like, they just wasted it. Just wasted it right away. Like, hey, let's have our worst movie. And how the hell... I don't even know who to blame for this mess. Who do you blame for Godzilla's Revenge? Nobody. You can't blame nobody. I mean, considering that the movie was literally made by the same guy who did the first movie... Yeah. How the hell did it happen? Yeah, but it was also done by the same writers of Mothra vs. Godzilla. So how did that happen, too? Like, who do you blame for this goddamn movie? 
Because it's secretly brilliant. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh my god. I don't How know. Was, is... Raids, was Raids again made by the original people? No. So, hey. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, but they did manage to return. Because they didn't want to return for Raids again. They're like, oh, this is going to be crap. We're going to not have our names attached to this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's what Raids again. At least. At least some of the, at least the moths have returned. Gabba hasn't returned at all. Angus I guess returned. if I guess if you count singular point, but oh no, wait, it's a new original kaiju bullshit. No, it's not. It's it's a stupid attempt of making it over. At this point on, it's point nine. It's a long guys. It's it's garbage. Yep. Well, that's they were there were many monsters in singular point that were mixtures of different past kaiju. That was kind of the point. Yeah. Uh, no, where the uh, point really? Yeah. Because I see, yeah. I see it as a. I don't know. Yeah, yeah that yeah. seems. If yeah. that's if the point is fan service, then I don't know. That's a terrible way of showing fan service. Like, know. I don't know because if I'm being honest, the Varan, Titanosaurus, and Gorosaurus being forms of Godzilla. I don't know. I see this more as an as an insult to people who wanted to see these characters as well as the characters since. Basically, what it's saying is just, oh, it's, oh, no, these characters are not their own, uh, their own, like, these characters are not their own characters. They're just proto-Godzillas. That makes no fucking sense. Wow. We're going off topic here, but, okay. Yeah, we are. Hey, Chris started it. Well, you know, I just need to correct reader. <laughs> you, you, you need to correct me on nothing, dude. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, it's fun ruffling his feathers. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I guess the only thing you need to carry me is, uh, I don't know, just my points on Kenshin Chaos as a whole. Dude, I'm way past Chaos right now. I don't... We're proud of it. You can say all you want, but we're proud of it. So, I <laughs> mean... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we, maybe when we do the Nets Kenshin Breakdown, you probably do it. Dude, dude, don't stop. We are... We, the, 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 the recent one just released not too long, though. I, f I feel like it's already enough. Yeah. Pretty much. But, right. So, in conclusion, I guess. <laughs> in conclusion, Godzilla Vans again, 100%. I'd rather watch that film way more than Godzilla's Revenge. I'd rather. If. I, you know what we've been on my tombstone? I'd rather watch Godzilla Vans again more than Godzilla's Revenge. That's what we've been on my tombstone. <laughs> yeah. Damn. My tombstone. I better not watch because of events. <laughs> I no. Because of those events. Piece of garbage. And speaking of, one thing I do want to say before we end the video. Godzilla's Reigns Again has a better ending just because of how it ends. They celebrate even both both versions, they celebrate Kobahashi's death. They say goodbye to Kobahashi, which is pretty sad considering that we've been spending most of the movie with him and getting to know him. And mm -hmm. I cared about him. Actually, he's my favorite character in the movie because of how funny he is. And when he dies, it comes like, no, you're my favorite character. And even actually most of the characters from Godzilla Reigns again, I do like, even though I don't remember most of the names, but mostly because Japanese names are hard to pronounce. That's it's just my inability to pronounce the names. Right. I will say I will say that characters in Raids again are more human than in Revenge. Then yeah. again it makes sense since historically speaking, yeah, yeah, basically citizens are to take care of themselves and their leader couldn't be bothered to do anything. Yeah. And because of those veins again, I've had to watch a thousand <laughs> times more. And and actually, believe it or not, it's very high ranking on my list of Godzilla films. I yeah, I think you're dead ranking either. Yeah, I rank it like what number twenty one, I believe. Yeah. And I think since then it's in the top twenty now. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I've had to watch and Godzilla's Revenge, piece of shit. Worst Godzilla movie ever made. Even the worst film ever made. Okay. Well, maybe I wouldn't go that far, but because there are some, I've seen more worst films than because of Revenge. <sighs> right. Well, honestly, well, well, okay. I will say my piece. Um, 
But yeah, I would have, yeah, I would have watched Trades again more than Revenge. Even then, I really don't care for those movies at this point. I just want to enjoy what's what's right now. I don't want to go back to the past. And yo, oh, I will. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, okay, sorry. Uh, I will say that that minus one uh, Godzilla seems promising. Yeah, actually, that film. I'm pretty sure by the time this video comes out, it will be released on the day the video comes out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this movie comes out in, two, in 2024. No, Godzilla. No, 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 Minus One comes out November 3rd for Japanese audiences, December 1st for American audiences, and then Godzilla vs. or Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire, is out next year sometime in April. Oh, okay. I was confusing dates. Okay. Yeah. Wait, only for. Okay, so only for Japanese and American audience and not even for. for not even from uh, people from. people from Europe? Well, that's a bit racist. <laughs> uh, I'm not Toho. You're gonna have to talk to them. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, we're gonna have to sue them. I don't know. They, their international visas are complicated. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with the whole thing. Right, but yeah, just I don't care for these movies at this point. I don't care which is worse or not. I just want to focus on the real picture, which. Well, like I said before, Raya, the Reba AY completely sucks. But again, minus one might be the actual good one. And then again, I feel like this movie is gonna gonna do what Shin kind of failed to do. Yeah. Should we I mean, tell about the rumors? Really we tell, fail, okay. Is anybody aware of the rumors about this movie? Is anybody? No, no, no. The rule. No, there's not a. No, no. It's there's no way in hell this movie is a prequel to Shin Godzilla. No, no, even no, the fact I don't think we should talk about spoilers because I don't want to know. Oh, okay, but never mind. Because I'm actually right. excited about it. Okay, okay I want to talk about, right. We can talk about spoilers for Godzilla X Kong because that one's gonna. Oh no, 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 no! You better not. Yeah. I, I the fact that you even had to make a video about it, I'm like, why? I know you don't like the monster, but at this point, it's pity. <laughs> it is so fun ruffling your feathers, reader. Oh my god! I, it's um, not even a question, bro. It's, I just want to avoid. I'm just gonna. Bro, I just want to. I just want to just wanna avoid spoilers. That's it. Uh, well then, just don't watch the video. No. What do you mean no? And I, I I'm watching your video. I want to see the movie and experience it in the movie theaters. That's what I just said. Then don't watch my video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. not forcing you to watch it. Yeah, yeah right. Uh, but he wants you. to watch. He wants to watch every Goji fan video ever made, just like all of us. <laughs> that's the only. Oh, no, that's the only Goji fan that I video that I even bothered to watch. That's on you. Yep. And actually, that's actually. Then again, I feel like. Yeah, actually, no. Actually, yeah, the most of us seems to be the only thing that seems to be coming out in my country. So I'll give it props for that. Yeah, it was because the monster was popular. It's trends. I, yeah, yeah. I'm a, the only movies I like from the MonsterVerse are King of the Monsters and Kong Skull Island. I didn't like 2014 or GBK. Well, I like King of the Monsters and GBK. The others are, I mean, they're not bad. I like them too. Just, I don't know. The, what came next uh, was better for me. Yeah. Also, speaking of Shin Godzilla, if you guys are interested, you could also watch, go to Neil's um, channel and uh, watch a video that we did, technically our first uh, collaboration before the Kenshin thing, where we actually talked about how well the Shin hold up. Yeah, that was before. Like, that was before I even knew who you guys were. Both. Of yeah. They, yeah, that was our first. Yeah, that was our first uh, collab that we did, and yeah, I was like, "Yeah, you want to make this video on Shin Godzilla?" Since I don't like this movie. <laughs> yeah. And then you got more people collab with you. <laughs> yeah. We might be getting right. one more collaborator. Oh, God. Hopefully. I'm not sure. Maybe. It might be a certain someone. I'm not going to say who. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, we said our things. What about uh, Chris? About the whole Raids Again and Revenge? So... If you want my brutally honest opinion, I think both movies suck. I don't really know why there needs to be a discussion on these two films. But for me, it comes down to entertainment, and I feel like Revenge is more entertaining. Um, that's all I got. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, this video didn't end up becoming an hour. It did end up becoming like 50 minutes, but okay. <laughs> Whatever, just freaking end it. I have to, I have to do stuff, dude. Uh, with that said, we would we'll probably just do like last minute plugs, I guess. But, Let Goji me. fan, starting with uh, Goji fan to my bites, I believe. You know where to find me. <laughs> yeah. You don't even have to say anything. No introduction. You can just find him. Yeah, literally. Stroking, stroking my ego, you know? You know where to find me. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh. Goji, Goji fan is egocentral. Is, ego, is a huge narcissist. Exposed. Exposed. Always a huge <laughs> narcissist. Yeah. Yeah. Godzilla Reader, where can we find you? Okay, well, I have a YouTube channel, Godzilla Reader, as <laughs> the name says it all. Um, I'm, tr I'm trying to work on something since I just reached uh, 300 subscribers, which is pretty cool. Although I have a feeling that the only reason I reached those is because of my analysis on the analog horror suit major trials, which honestly shouldn't come as a surprise. No, I mean, I still had two A sets. I can't so many subscribers because of the reaction videos I've been doing. <laughs> I guess so. But aside from YouTube, you can also find me on Wattpad, um, Reader Godzilla this time. Uh, well, I haven't really updated that much in terms of my stories. I'm still, uh, I'm still. Uh, well, right now I'm too busy to even do anything. Even so, though, yeah, yeah, you do got a fan base on the Wattpad. You got like tons of followers, more than I do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you only have one book, dude. I have like millions. Yeah, you got millions. That's because you got more time to write than I do. Right. Uh, although I have a feeling that most of the people, uh, again, I still have people still going over to the to the to the Godzilla Ruby story. I'm like, no, don't go to that one. That one, even though it's my second book to be written, it's a shit wall. It's a horrible story, badly written. Well, it's probably because you were a teenager, and when you're a teenager, you think um, think of dumb things. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. This story, I'm, I'm going to reboot it in the future at this point. Uh, well, right. Well, I'm well, done. Well, well, aside from... Uh, well, if you guys are interested in seeing uh, drawings, hearts of some of the characters that have been created, well, you can follow me on Twitter, which is Godzilla Reader, although, actually, no, it's not even called Twitter. X. I don't know why. X. Although, we all yeah, say No one calls it Twitter. X. Yeah. So yeah, you can phone, find me on X uh, or Twitter for art. Although if you want to avoid a drama, you can also find me on DeviantArt, Godzilla Reader again. Although considering how this happened, seems to be going at a shithole because of the whole AI thing. You can find me mostly on Tumblr, Godzilla Reader again. Uh, here's my plugs. You can find me on Instagram at adnogoji2017. You can find me on Facebook at Adnogoji. You can find me on Twitter at Adnogoji Official. Not that Let's Talk Adnogoji that got hacked by a hacker. <laughs> I'm pretty sure not to make people aware of that. Yeah. You can find me on YouTube at Adnogoji2001 and Messenger at Adnogoji2001. Discord at Adnogoji. Pretty much everywhere on Adnogoji. <laughs> With that said, Pretty easy to find me. Yeah, same. Although I guess on what part the only difference is just it's just Godzilla and Reader being changed. Just Reader Godzilla. Although that is my tag name. Yep. But with that said, should we oh, say the line? Fam should we all say the famous line that Goji fan has said? What's that? What's what's my line? You know the line. What's my motivation? What what? Are you ready? All right. <gasps> Stay big, G-Bands! Stay big, G-Bands! <laughs>